is important that we tap the strengths, the leadership potential of each and every member of the United States Air Force and our smaller family and each and every member in the Air Force Judge Advocate General's Corps. Teaching and mentoring the younger generation, not just on how to do things, but help, helping them learn to make those harder decisions. Allow them to take ownership in the areas that they have responsibilities to, uh, to treat their job like a for-profit business. Foundational leadership needs to be viewed through the lens of diversity and inclusion. And when you do that, it magnifies the impact of foundational leadership. But when you walk into a room of your colleagues in a business context, those people are your teammates. You have to respect and include and value the differences that exist within all of us. Those differences are strengths. It's not enough simply to offer equal opportunity to those great graduating JSOC classes, the top 5% of our applicant pool, and tell them, welcome to equal opportunity in a meritocracy, let's see how far you get. It requires supervisor involvement, active involvement. I'm not talking about an annual feedback form on an OPR. I'm talking about active involvement. Pushing people that don't necessarily want to raise their hand and volunteer. I would just like them to keep encouraging me to um, think outside the box and do more than what I'm comfortable doing. Give them an opportunity to succeed on their own. A little bit of autonomy is good. A firm foundation for them to actually understand what they're doing and why they're doing it, so the process. So that as they are developing, the attorneys will be able to count on them and know that when they give them a job to do and rely on them that, that the job is going to get done. prioritize those things that are important for the folks that are coming up and and then maintain focus on that with all of the, the number of things we have coming in every day every week maintain focus on those critical areas and then give them the opportunity to build that expertise I've always been lucky enough to work with attorneys uh, and senior NCOs that gave me stuff that I wasn't comfortable doing and let me run with it and I've been able to expound my knowledge base based on that. Having a development plan, being able to uh, articulate to them what steps they need to accomplish in order to have a successful career. As a leader, I think you have to have three elements. You have to have uh, what the plan is, the overall plan. You have to let them know where they fit into the plan. Then, of course, you got to hold them accountable. Let's get our junior JAGs and paralegals out to know their client. I think JAGs ought to be part of CGOC, I think they ought to be part of wing activities, I think paralegals ought to be involved in the professional paralegal organizations with the top three, with the five, six. We are a family. We are a special people. We are strengthened by process improvements and we will tap the power of our diversity. We have always stood on the shoulders of giants. That has always been true. Today we stand on your shoulders. Tomorrow we will stand on the shoulders of giants you build today. Our destiny is clear, a stronger JAG Corps with a very bright future.